Hey guys, so I got some new brushes. I don't really do a whole lot of um, buying professional brushes, but here's what I got. Um, they're Da Vinci's. Well, let me get this straight here. They are Da Vinci Cosmo Top Mix. Um, my favorite kind of brushes are a mix of synthetic and um, natural synthetic because it keeps the bounce and the tip to my brush and then um, the natural helps absorb the water and hold a lot of um, paint for a long period of time. These I'm falling in love with very very quickly. Um, I can do a lot of detail even with a larger brush. So this is what I am using now and this is what I used to use here. So you can see that I usually used a lot smaller. This is a Winsor Newton Copman. Um, I used to buy these because they're cheap and I'm really aggressive with my brushes and so I was able to exchange them over and over and over again. But um, that's starting to, at this point, get expensive. So um, I'm training myself to use a larger brush. This is a size one and try to get my detail um, using the bigger brush and what that means is that my pressure has to be a lot lighter but as I've always told my students that your materials really make or break your painting and it's no exception for the professionals and it was time for me to also not only build up that palette um, which I'm still working on but um, to also update my brushes to something that's actually going to be um, more efficient as well because they hold water better, they hold their tip better, they're you know stronger made um, and I'm really excited with these. I you know I can do a lot more painting with them because they hold more water and um, more paint but they also still have that bounce, meaning firmness um, is another word I would use um, to hold the shape throughout the painting. A purely um, natural um, sable or something like that, I personally don't like them because they don't hold their shape um, long enough for all my detail. Um, if I were working larger and more loosely or more wet onto wet, those would be prime, um, which is probably why a lot of watercolor artists use them. But for the detail that I do, they're not really that applicable. I know I just totally murdered that word, but um, so yeah, these are really awesome. The, the other thing is that I wanted to point it out is that I don't know if you can see it in the video very well but the right here they are actually there's flat so here's a flat here's a flat here's a flat and it merges into something round so what's cool is is that they um are really um helpful to hold on to they form into your hand a lot better but um not so much that it's distracting um, I've held brushes that have those grips or, you know, it just doesn't feel as natural. This feels pretty natural. So if you're interested, I just wanted to let you know that this is my um, new favorite brush and the material that I would be, I'm going to probably continue using so much so that I went and bought a traveler, um, four travelers of Da Vinci Cosmo Tops. They're not the mix, they're synthetic. Um, but the Cosmo Tops I'm really happy with, um, and that's what this is, but just the mix. Um, the ones I've been using up to this point are synthetic. Um, they are Richardson's, and I, I really like these. My dad got them for me um, for Christmas, but um, they held up for quite a while. But as you can see, they're starting to fray on me. And so, but these are a synthetic. Um, if you want to go to synthetic in a travel series, they're very short handle. They're not very long, um, but they were a great brush for a while for in between the Cotman's and these Da Vinci's. So, yeah, there you go.